In this problem, I've constructed a little firework by using a disc with a mass of 375 grams. So I'm going to go ahead and put in here right now what that is in kilograms, so 0.375 kilograms. The radius of this thing is 18 centimeters, which I could write as 0.18 meters. And I've put a couple rockets on here, but I'm told just to simplify things that these have negligible mass. They're exerting a force that's exactly tangential and I'm ultimately interested in the torque they exert and how the disc reacts. So the nice thing about how I arrange them is that that force is already perpendicular to the lever arm, which simplifies our torque formula. Um, I'm given the magnitude of those forces as two and a half newtons and then a total time that the disc accelerates before the rockets burn out. So I want the total torque exerted by the rockets in part A, and there's two of them doing exactly the same thing. And each one of them exerts the torque given by the perpendicular component of force times the size of the lever arm, which is just the radius of the disc. So I end up with 2.5 newtons multiplying 0.18 meters for the length of the lever arm. And when I do that, I get 0.45 Newton meters but that was just one rocket so I have to multiply by two and I have a total torque of 0 0.90 Newton meters in the clockwise direction now I'm asked for the moment of inertia of the disk and again the rockets are considered to have negligible mass so I'm not concerned about them in this problem and just the disk is going to be a one-half mr squared so that's going to be one half times the mass in kilograms, 0.375 kilograms times the radius, 0.18 meters all squared. And when I do that calculation, I get 0 0.006075 kilogram meters squared, just keeping a little bit of extra precision for later on. In part C, I want the angular acceleration for the disk. Well, I have the total torque on it, which is like the twisting force. And I have the moment of inertia, which is the resistance to the angular acceleration. Now I can get my angular acceleration from the formula tau equals I alpha. In other words, alpha is tau, the torque, divided by the moment of inertia, the resistance to angular acceleration. And I get 0 0.90 newton meters divided by 0 0.006 Zero seven five kilogram meters squared and I end up with an angular acceleration of 148.1 radians per second squared finally in part D I'm asked for the final angular speed after the rockets fire so I know the acceleration now and going back up to the original problem I know how long this thing accelerates from rest so this is a kinematics problem I'm going to go to omega equals omega naught plus alpha t. It started from rest, so that first term is zero. And I just have 148.1 radians per second squared multiplied by 0.77 seconds. And I get a final angular velocity of 114 radians per second. I then divide that by 2 pi to get rotations per second. And when I do that, I get 18.2 rotations per second. 